So uh, now we're going to show you how to how one data integrates with CDMI and uh, REST uh, protocols. So first of all, I need to log back in uh, to one zone. All right. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I will go to the uh, Catania provider, uh, create a, a dedicated space, uh, and I will call it CDMI space. Right, now I need to get some support. Uh, okay. The procedure is the same as uh, I showed previously. All uh, right. All right. Right. We are good to go. And uh, now I've prepared some uh, scripts uh, to show you how we uh, use CDMI protocol. Here is an example file which I will upload using uh, uh, this script. It basically uh, makes a request uh, to, to the endpoint, which is defined as Catania uh, uh, provider in CDMI space, and it will, uh, the file will be stored as a file.txt. But before I do that, I need to fetch uh, a token. So I click here. Uh, create client token, copy that. Uh, uh, what was the color? Uh, CDMI. Mm. Okay. And now I will upload the file. Uh, we've got uh, a positive result. Now we can verify it in uh, GUI. And the file is over here. Now we will uh, download the file using uh, this script. It basically, again, uh, makes a, a get request on the path. Uh, C CDMI space uh, slash file text. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And we've got here the content of the file. Next, uh, I will show how to uh, set some. Uh, so now we will uh, write some metadata, uh, some extended attributes to the, to the file. It's again a, a request with some CDMI specific headers. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Right, again, uh, we've got a positive result. And uh, we can fetch the uh, extended attribute using a, a different uh, request, which simply asks for them uh, here. So when we read metadata, we got them back. Uh, and finally, uh, I will uh, delete the file using the, uh, this request. It's again, it's very simple, very intuitive. Uh, and it says it, it is deleted. And when we refresh uh, in GUI, we see that the file is gone. So to do that, uh, I will create a, a last one space, which I will call a rest space. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoops. I mean, is a desktop 
But the basic operation is useful. Yeah. I mean, just upload the load the, and some The things we think are the most important are there. Okay, uh, now I'm uh, now I, uh, I created the space and I'm supporting it in both providers because I will show you in a while uh, the endpoint to for a replication of file. So we need a uh, support in both providers. I've supported it here and here. So uh, now and go here. All right, so uh, I prepared uh, another bunch of scripts in a REST directory. Uh, first of all, we will uh, make a long pull request to a, uh, to a REST space I've created uh, just a few seconds ago, and we will see the changes that happens to, in this space. So while we upload, for instance, a file to this space, we'll get a, a feed from, uh, from this request, which will say what, what happened in this space. So go, uh, before I do that, I need to uh, just uh, ensure I've got a right token here. Okay, now I will tokens. I will use the same. Okay, so uh, we are making a long pull request to a space, but we need to provide a space ID. To get that, you can easily go to, uh, to the administrative panel and copy. Uh, uh, no, you have to look. I copied inside it. The, inside is one inside so now I've made a request and it hangs and waits until I do something in, in this space. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm. Okay. Let's upload a file. Okay. And here we've got a bunch of changes which uh, for, for instance uh, concern the modification time of the uh, space folder, the information about the uploaded file, for instance here, uh, and so on. For, uh, we can go ahead and uh, change the mode of the file. Uh, okay. And we should also get some uh, changes over here. So the file changed in, 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 a, in a space, and we get a constant feed of changes uh, uh, right here. And also, we can uh, delete this file. And after a while, we should get uh, info where the deleted field will be set to true. Uh, we have to wait a, a moment due to uh, caches and, and the timeouts. Oh, and here we have that the file uh, named Sicily05 has been deleted. Okay, so uh, it's about the changes feed, and now we will uh, write some extended attributes uh, to the to the file which I will upload right now. Let's uh, upload another file. Okay. Uh, we can get the attributes of the file. Mm, and it requires me a file path. So I will rest. It was PNG. Mm. I write correctly. Rest C C. Oh, oh six. Yes. So the uh, so the current it, it's not an extended attribute. It's just a normal attribute. We uh, currently just uh, support the mode of the file. But if we provide uh, a flag, uh, which is simply added here as a query string. 
uh, we get an empty list. Uh, we can go ahead and change the mode of the file uh, to 777. Uh, uh -huh. uh, okay, we need to. 06 PNG 777. Well, what it does, it makes a request to, to this file with a body to uh, with mode set to in to 777 in, in the body of the requests. And now when we get the attribute of the file, we, we see that it's now 777. Uh, now let's add some uh, extended attributes. Uh, Extended attributes, and we again provide space PNG, and we name it at one value one. Okay, and add another one. Now, when we uh, get attributes, true. Sure. We get a list of attributes. We can also fetch a specific attribute. Uh, okay, and we get only the selected attribute. What it does, it made a uh, made a request here. We specified that we want an extended attribute, and it should be uh, the name at uh, two. Uh, we can also override the attribute simply by making another request for the same attribute with a different value. And now when we get the attribute, uh, we see that it's, uh, the value has changed. Right, uh, so now we can also uh, get the via REST, we can get the same uh, blocks distribution which we uh, saw in a web GUI. We can uh, get replication and I guess it is. It wants. PNG. Uh, we got a result where the where we we have a provider ID with uh, blocks, which is an empty list. This is a ENFN provider, and the other provider, which is Catania provider, who has the a whole file. Uh, now we will go ahead and replicate the file from uh, Catania provider to ENF provider via uh, REST uh, call. So we it's called replicate file. And here we have to provide file path. and also uh, ID of a provider which we want to replicate this file to. This makes, uh, this makes a request to Catania provider with an ID of an ENF, uh, ENFN provider. So to get the ID of ENFN provider, we can navigate to uh, the administrative panel of uh, ENFN. And here uh, we have uh, provider ID. We uh, paste it over here. Uh, and we've got in return a transfer uh, ID. With this, with this ID, we can query uh, whether, uh, what is the status of the transfer, whether it has completed, whether it has failed, uh, and so on. So we can get, get transfer and provide this uh, ID. And it says that it, it is completed. Uh, we can verify that by making, uh, again, the request to uh, get the replication of this file. And now we see that the file blocks are uh, in both providers. Uh, and the same is, of course, uh, here in uh, GUI. Okay. Uh, I guess, I guess that, that's all I've prepared for uh, REST API. Uh, are there any questions? <coughs> 